What's up, guys? Welcome back to Skip's Guns. So, if you guys remembered, uh, I did an SGZ weekly recap with our PVD bronze, and honestly, I figured that you guys were going to want to see two of these guns just kind of be compared to each other, and that is, first, none other than my original Staccato P. This guy is completely decked out. There is really nothing else we can do to it. So just as a quick recap, in case you missed the weekly recap, which by the way, go check it out. We have a Staccato P. This is the CS version. So it is the steel frame. Then we did an optics cut and now it has a direct mounted Delta Point Pro on it. We then tri top the slide, did a solid Dawson front sight. Then we did our patented plague. We then made the front end all nice and pretty by doing a keyed reverse plug. Then we did a recoil reduction. We then went inside the gun and did an EGW internals kit with trigger job, Phoenix Trinity trigger, Phoenix Trinity grip, and then their magwell, which I then opened up the inside circumference so it would actually accept any mags that we want to put in it, not just MBX. I then blended and pinned the grip safety, Atlas thumb safeties, of course, and then an Atlas gas pedal and a Hayes Customs magazine extension on the button. And then we went through the whole gun and did our awesome bronze PVD. So it has polished internals PVD'd, and then the exterior is the bronze in a matte color. So we are going to be putting this thing uh, on the stand so that you can see the finished results of this gun. Let's see some rounds fly through this one. Just as good as I remember it. I love this gun. This gun started as a... Uh, I guess we'll call it like a test gun and this is actually the first plagued staccato and the first plagued gun period so this thing really really runs well now we are going to be taking a look at its newest brother this is a staccato xc which we have kind of redone so that it is more i guess in my opinion, the way that a XC should come from Staccato. We tri-topped it. Uh, it already obviously has the optics cut, but we threw on a Delta Point Pro. Uh, then we went inside the gun and we did our polished PVD to the barrel. And then the exterior, we did our matte colored PVD. We then did Atlas thumb safeties and then fit the grip with a Chili grip and that one we just DLC'd. This is their a super aggressive texture. So this one kind of gets your hands a little torn up. It also is just the aluminum gripped version. So it's not as heavy as some of the other guns, but it is the E2 version where the back strap is bent out a little bit, which gives you a higher grip up on the gun with that. And then the Atlas thumb safeties pairing up on this gun. You are basically on top of it while you're shooting so let's charge up and see how this one shoots so when you get a gun back from pvd you are obviously you need to sandblast the gun so there is going to be a little bit of a break-in period. And that's kind of why I just wanted to leave this in here. These are literally some of the first shots on this gun. And as you can see, it was running. And then either the mag or the fact that uh, this is fresh from PVD, you saw a failure to feed. Now, all I had to do was just kind of rack it and get it to go again. We are ready. So... You know, I don't like hiding stuff from you guys, and I do want you to be informed once you get work done on your gun to know what to do. And as you can see, it ran like a top after that. All right, guys, so 
when you think of a staccato P and a staccato XC, I probably would go ahead to venture and think that you're going to think about them being the two highest tier models on staccato's lineup. Yes, of course, there's the XL, but unless you are really out to look for something like the XL, you're not really going to go purchase it. You're most likely going to go with either the XC or the P. So I figured that this would be a great opportunity since they're both decked out to just kind of give you guys an overall idea of how they would contend against one another with all of the modifications. So like I said before, this P is honestly you couldn't do anything else to it and you can tell just from shooting the gun that uh, a lot of work has been done anytime that you put an aluminum grip on there you are going to have to do something to it to uh, make it work up to exactly your expectations and what I mean by that is Sometimes you have to blend the back of the grip to the frame, and at that point, you're gonna need to, you know, go back into it and recoat some stuff. So, if you plan on switching to different grips and mainsprings and uh, grip safeties, definitely just understand how much of a job it is. But I will say the end result is absolutely phenomenal. These guns deserve metal grips. You just are like inside the gun at that point and i i wouldn't have it any other way i have a shitload of 2011s and almost all of them have aluminum or steel grips i have a couple of xc's now and i'm actually going to do something in another video where you guys get to see all four of them and all the different modifications and see which one suits that type of gun better but <laughs> Honestly, the P just, it is like an absolute monster. When you do the plague and you go in and do a recoil reduction and then just overall tune the gun to be a ported setup now, you really get one super fast flat shooting monster. And uh, I think it's the best way to go about these things. I've done plenty of videos on this particular gun. And in my opinion, I won't spring for the XC. I would absolutely spring for the P and then throw the kitchen sink at it because <laughs> I'd press the magazine release button. We're leaving that in. But as you can see, this thing, it shoots and it shoots really good. So I highly recommend that you guys take a look at a couple of other videos of mine and see what we've done just the evolution of this gun alone, you are going to be astounded at how awesome the Staccato P shoots once it is modified. Now, I'm going to pick up this mag here, drop in the extra round that came out of it, and I think I got about five shots left, so we're just going to hit this one at 40 yards. It really doesn't get much better than this gun, guys. The only thing that I would do different to that gun if I would have done it before I coated it, that would be our new exorations. The, we do them a little bit different than staccato. It's the same basic idea. We just open up these cuts a little bit more. The staccato has it, but it's not ours. This is the one like how staccato does it. And there's nothing wrong with it. I just feel if you can get away with opening it up more and making it look that much more aggressive, you definitely need to do it. So now let's see how this tri-top to XC takes the cake. But as you can see, besides me talking about this mag, is this gun runs like a top and uh, tri topping it really just helps lose some of the weight on top of the gun. It's such a light slide, but making it lighter is really just going to help it 
and you can time the gun a little bit differently. Maybe you're uh, looking for a specific type of reciprocation and doing something like a tri-top is definitely the way to go. You, ne you want to know what you're doing in those kinds of situations, so I don't recommend just, uh, you know, going into your garage and having at it and cutting the whole top of your gun off, but it will help if you know what you're doing, or, I mean, shit, that's what we do for a living over here at SGZ, just saying, not selling, <laughs> but um, I'm going to load up, we will give you guys a little slow-mo action, and uh, then we'll wrap this video up. So really quickly, guys, while I am loading up, I just wanted to stop and say Callaway Ballistics, all right? They are my new ammo sponsor. So far, they have sent out some amazingly clean and accurate and consistent ammo. But what I wanted to show you is, first, sorry for the wind noise and check out that XC. Second... Look at how awesome this is. The box that they send it in, if you open it up, open the top like this, it gives you perfect access to just grab one out and toss it right into that mag. Guys, Callaway Ballistics, there is a discount code down in the description. You definitely need to go check them out because I am highly impressed and cannot wait to start shooting suppressor stuff with them. All right, guys, so like I said, the uh, Staccato P Delta Point Pro has um, taken itself out, for lack of better words. But um, we're going to push on. We still got the XC, and uh, I'm going to load up and give you guys a final show that's going to just show you how fast this gun actually is. So before I go, I want to end it on advice this time. Note. Never take things for granted, okay? Um, life definitely gives you obstacles, but the obstacles will only make you stronger, and in the end, you're going to be a better person. I've had a pretty rough life in the beginning of my life, and I turned out pretty well, I think, <laughs> at least. And most of you guys seem to think that as well. And uh, now that I'm a business owner and a father and a husband and, I don't know, just all around a human, I just want to take this time to say never give up and seriously believe and achieve and really believe in yourself, you know. It's, it's not worth doing anything bad just do what you need to do to be a good person in the end. So, guys, on that note, thank you very much for everything. Thank you to my Patreon supporters, you guys liking, subscribing, and sharing, and uh, anyone and everyone that's ever gotten work done from my company, SGZ. And also, a huge thank you to Callaway Ballistics for jumping on board. I appreciate you guys more than you know, and I look forward to an awesome 2024. So, we got some rounds. Let's shoot this thing, huh? <laughs> Believe it, Chief.